Hey, what's going on guys? This is Kevin the Tech Ninja and today I'm going to show you the A6300 ISO levels. I'm going to show you the 4K footage first and then we're going to head over to the 1080p footage. And I'm going to show you the ISO levels and talk about when it starts to degrade and what footage is actually usable. Let's begin. Tech that you're gonna break the mold, brand state control, scope scored and the case is closed. Real talk with a hell of a brand, every word is unfilled, the genuine dread. So here are my thoughts on the A6300 ISO levels. I started off with a room that was dark, and the only light was coming from that back window and the shades were drawn. The footage became very visible around 3200 ISO level, and at around 8000 is when the footage became degraded to the point where I wouldn't use it, but the details were still there and it was just a bit noisy. I'd say around 16500 is when everything pretty much fell out and that footage was completely gone. But overall, I'm really impressed with the ISO levels. 1080p does give you better ISO levels, but it's not super apparent unless you really dig into the footage and compare those side to side. Anyways guys, this is Kevin the Tech Ninja. If you would like the video, you know what to do. Click those links and I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.